see so today I'm going to be filming quick and easy hairstyles um, I said in my previous video that I got a lot of requests to do this so I'm going to film that for you today so this morning when I got in the shower I washed my hair with the Ghani Fructuous Fortifying Shampoo Strength and Shine and the Herbal Essences Dazzling Shine Conditioner um, I am lucky in the sense that I only have to wash my hair mainly like every three to four days my hair doesn't all oh, these are wet from the shower oh hair doesn't get that greasy that often um, and if you watch my favorites video you will know that i don't use heat on my hair and um, well i try i'm trying not to anyway um so i think i've gone like four or five weeks without using heat if you are a person who has quite flat hair when they get out of the shower as you can tell my hair isn't that flat it is very thick extremely thick extremely what's it called voluminous or whatever um which bleh, it's good and a bad thing but i would recommend the fabulous big hair um if you are a person who gets out the shower and your hair is stuck flat to your head then this is really good i um if i am going to be using this i used it quite a while ago i would get my hair and do it in the opposite direction to where i want it to actually lay and it just gives it a lot more volume so when I get out of the shower, I will just brush my hair with a wide tooth comb and then I will apply this. If you watch my favourites videos, you would have seen this. This is the Herbal Essences Beautiful Ends. Um, I absolutely love this. It makes my hair so shiny and glossy at the ends and it really helps to um, protect my heat. Protect my heat. Protect my hair. Um, so it's just like a damage cream and I would just put this in the from like here to down from my ears down and um, in my hair and that is the only product I will really put in my hair when I wash it and then most of the time I will just shove it up in a bun which leads me on to my first hairstyle so I just pushed all my hair backwards and then flipped my head over got my bubble and I just gathered all my hair to the top of my head and I'm doing it quite messily to be honest and then I just wrapped my hair around my finger and then messily put the bobble on top and then I just picked out bits here and there to make it look how I want and I think with this the messier the better so yeah it doesn't have to be too neat hairstyle I'm just going to pull up from my ears, pull the hair up and tie it into a pony and this is good if you want your hair down but you still want it out of your face. So again I'm just going to pull little bits out here and there to make it look how I want and with the bit that's still down you can either curl it or straighten it if you would like but because I'm not using heat another thing that I would like to do is spray sea salt spray on my hair and this can just give your hair a little bit more texture and I thought it'd be quite cute to put a little bow in so I just found this black one and just put that in and um, I know you can still see my bobble so it probably would have been a good idea for me to cover that up but Oh well, there it is. <laughs> For my next hairstyle, I'm just going to do a centre part and all the way down and split my hair into two sections. And then I'm just going to get one side out of the way by tying it up in a bobble. The other side I'm just going to braid the front part of my hair
then when I get to about my ear, I'm just going to carry on plaiting down just with three sections that I've got in my hands. And then I just secured that with an elastic band at the bottom. repeated that on the other side of my head. braids done you just want to carefully take out the elastic bands from both of the braids and then you just want to gather that to the back of your head and like we did with the first ha hairstyle we're just going to wrap it around our finger and then I just took some bobby pins and just pin my hair down in place any places that you feel are a bit loose you just want to pin them down in place with some Kirby grips or bobby pins whatever you call them and preferably not black ones if you have blonde hair but these are the only ones I've got hairstyle what you want to do is you just want to gather your hair into a normal pony at the back of your head and then at the base of the pony just before the bobble you want to make a hole all the way through and you just want to tuck all the hair from the pony inside of that. It can be a little difficult at first, but practice makes perfect. And then again, I thought it'd be quite cute to add accessories, so I just added my black bow again. And then again, I just pulled little pieces out here and there. And if you wanted to, you could curl these pieces or straighten them. But because I am not using any heat on my hair at the moment, I just left them out. But if I was using heat, I would curl it. But if not, I would probably just leave it all back. to be the best to hair because I'm really not. These aren't hard hairstyles, these are just hairstyles that I will be using on a daily basis when I go back to sixth form and when I go on holiday because when you're, when, when you're watching this I am on holiday, I'm going on another cruise, I'm so lucky, with my nan, my granddad and my big sister. Um, it's just for three nights but I will be vlogging it so you can subscribe to my channel so you can see those. And yes, thank you very much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. I really hope this gave you a little bit of inspiration for when you go back to school or sixth form or uni or whatever. And yes, have a lovely week and I'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. It sounds like so robotic. Bye guys. <laughs>